Hey guys, what's up? This is Joy. Uh, welcome back to my channel, and uh, I'm finally here to talk about my electronic drum kit, uh, what I use, and the door, and how to connect it. Everything. I have been getting a lot of questions, you know, on Instagram, on Facebook. So let's start. First of all, I would like to mention my drum kit. I am using a uh, Roland TD11 KV all mesh drum kit. And uh, along with it, I am using an Audient Evo 4 uh, audio interface. And the DAW that I am using is Studio One 6 and it's by PreSonus. You can download it from Google and install it. You can record your drums in two ways. The first is through MIDI, uh, through MIDI cable. And the second is through the normal jack input you have, you know, jack to jack. Uh, so the process is basically same. You need to connect your MIDI cable or your uh, jack cable uh, to the module and then if you are using a MIDI cable, you don't need a sound card to connect. You can, you can directly connect it to your laptop or if you are using a jack, then you need a sound card so that you can take an input, you know, and then pass it to your laptop or the door you are using. I usually record my drums in MIDI because I get a lot of options, you know, to use VSDs and I can make my own sound, uh, my own tone and uh, I have to work on tones according to my projects, the songs that I get to play. Uh, every song has a different sound, so I need to choose it accordingly. So yes, I use VSDs like Addictive Drums 2, uh, Superior Drummer 3, then um, Perfect Drums sometimes. And yes, Contact of course. I love Contact libraries. I use GGD, I use Modern and Massive, I use Studio Drummer. Uh, these are some of the Contact libraries that I personally love. So now let's move to the connection part. First of all, all you need is a MIDI cable and then if you connect your MIDI cable with your system, it will automatically download your drum kit's driver. But in some cases, it does not download. So all you need to do is go to Google and search your driver. For example, um, I am using a Roland TD11. So I am going to search uh, Roland TD11 KV uh, driver. So after downloading, you install it and then the next step would be open your door. You can use uh, Cubase, you can use Studio One like I use or you can use FL Studio, whichever is comfortable. Alright, now we will have to connect our kit. So we will go to Studio One and then click on Option. And then this window will pop up. After that we will select External Device and then click on Add. Now we will have to add our kit as a MIDI as, as a MIDI. So we'll click on new instrument and then write uh, the manufacturer's name. If you can find it from the left side, then just select it. Or if not, then just normally write it. For example, you can write Roland, you can write LSS, you can write uh, Yamaha, anything. And then uh, name your device. For example, if you uh, if you are using an L LSS Nitro Kit, then just rename it as Nitro Kit. Or if you are using a Roland TD17, then just write it as 17. After that, you can see your instrument has been added here, and you can see my instrument as well. So yeah, basically this is the process. Uh, so open your door, and then after that, you need to uh, hit your drum kit and check whether the drum kit is sending signal to your door or not. Once you get the signal, once you can see the lights blinking over there after hitting your drum kit, then you are almost ready to, you know, play or record your drums. After that, uh, you need to assign a VST. As I have already mentioned be, uh, before the names. So I'll put a video of my drum kit. Then the whole process, you know, the connection process and everything in the next clip. This is my drum kit. Uh, it looks a bit weird because I am using my second tom as my hi-hat. And uh, yeah, I bought this kit back in 2016. So it's been a long time. So this is the module. This is the TD11KV module. And... This is my MIDI cable, which is connected to my laptop, and this is my audio interface, o Audient Evo 4. This is the DAW, and the first thing that we're going to do is right-click, 
and add an instrument track and then on the right side we can see instruments so we'll click there uh, and after clicking we will select uh, contact 7 uh, basically contact is a player it's a player and I'll just select and drag and drop uh, we'll just wait for we'll wait for it to open okay so these are the uh, uh, drum libraries that I have uh, in, uh, I use it inside the contact and I'm gonna choose uh, Mixwave by Luke Holland and this is a great kit so I'll select uh, drag and drop it by the way this process works only in studio one if you are using any other DAW then the process will be totally different this is the kit uh, so now I'm gonna record some drums so that uh, you guys can have some idea This is one way to record your electronic drum kit using a MIDI cable but then you can also record your uh, drums uh, using jack to jack which of course will connect from your module to your sound card. Just make sure that you select the correct uh, input and output sources in your DAW but uh, if you are using a jack to jack then you will get the module sound and not the VST sound. I hope it was helpful uh, so if you like the video kindly share it with your friends and uh, yeah subscribe you can subscribe to the channel for more such videos also if you have any queries then you can leave comments or you can message me on instagram i'll definitely uh, solve it thank you so much thanks for watching happy drumming cheers until next time